I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Uh, this evening, Russian opposition politician Boris Nemstov was shot dead in downtown Moscow. Believe it or not, actually shot dead right in downtown Moscow, walking along uh, a bridge with uh, the, the Kremlin in the background. Uh, there, several articles have been reporting this. Uh, the TASS Russian news agency reported this as well. So the opposition and stage figure deputy of regional legislature in uh, Yaroslavy City Duma, Boris Nemstov, was shot dead in downtown Moscow overnight uh, to Saturday with four shots from a handgun from a car passing by him. Law enforcement agencies said, according to the preliminary data, an unknown assailant made a few shots at Nem Nemstov when the uh, latter was walking along the Bolshoi Moshvotsky uh, Bridge. Uh, Nimstov was a co chair in the uh, RPR Paranus Party. He had held a number of governmental positions in the 1990s, including uh, he was a deputy prime minister for Boris Yeltsin. Uh, he's also a very big critic uh, of Vladimir Putin. Uh, the current president of Russia, and there was uh, there was a uh, he's 55 he was 55 years old. There was a uh, staged uh, this Sunday. They were staging a march uh, in protest to certain uh, issues going on in politics. There, uh, President Putin was informed immediately of his death, according to news sources. There, and uh, and the head of state instructed heads of Russia's investigative committee, Interior Ministry, and Federal Security Services to establish an investigative group and personal control the course of the crime's investigation. Putin's spokesman said Saturday, Putin noted that the violent murder bears the marks of a contract killing and is purely provocative, Dmitry uh, Sokov said. The Russian president expressed deep condolences to the near and dear of Boris, uh, Boris uh, Nimstov, who tragically died, uh, Sev, Sev, uh, excuse me, Sikov said. Russian Prime Minister uh, Dmitry uh, Medvedev has expressed deep, sincere condolences to the near and dear of Nimstov. Uh, Medev, Medev's uh, spokesman, Natalia Timokov, said Saturday. Um, there's just a lot of, uh, lot of suspicion that is uh, swirling around his death because he is an opposition uh, leader. Uh, in another uh, news article here on Vox, uh, or Vox, uh, there, Website.com, uh, uh, they, they, their headline says Russian opposition leader and Putin critic Boris Nemtsov shot dead in Moscow. So it's obvious that there are going to be some finger pointing and no, no doubt the reason why uh, President Putin is also wanting to have an investigative and be on top of the investigative to see what goes on. Because naturally when your opponent, someone that the voices opposition against your own particular practices, certainly casts a, a weary eye upon uh, President Putin. So he said he would be over this investigation personally in this. Um, anyway, uh, it, they also wrote in here that the 55-year-old Nimstov has served in a number of Russian government positions, including as Deputy Prime Minister in the 1990s under Boris Yeltsin. More recently, he is known as an opposition party leader and a uh, prominent critic of President Vladimir Putin. Nimstov has particularly criticized Russia's occupation in Crimea in the war in eastern Ukraine. He wrote in September 2014 column, this is not our war, this is not your war, this is not the war of the 20-year-old paratrooper sent out there, this is Vladimir Putin's war. He called the conflict some sort of nightmare, a madness that only brings grief, conflicts, and problems to all. Um, anyway, Makes you wonder, though, as we've spoken about many times before about the 10 regions of the world that will be coming into play and who will actually be over these 10 regions as kings there. Uh, I can certainly see where the Vatican has their hands on pretty much everything there, I there is. And, uh, and no doubt there are some heavy players involved in this particular issue there, especially when it comes to Ukraine uh, and Crimea as well. So it is quite clear that uh, even in this case here, perhaps Mr. Uh, Boris uh, Nimstov had no idea just who is running the show in the background. And it's not Vladimir Putin either. It happens to be the Pope of Rome. Anyway, another news that was kind of interesting today is that Egy Egyptians' uh, uh, court uh, has actually stated publicly today in, in a conviction that they did against uh, uh, one of the uh, former Hamas uh, leaders there, 
that the Hamas group is in fact a terrorist group and that the, 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 the man that they had convicted in their court, they give him a life sentence today and uh, he was uh, given that sentence uh, as, a, as, a, as a result of the, uh, the, the court there. They said that the terrorist group is part of the Muslim Brotherhood and the brother, Brotherhood's uh, Badi sentenced, was sentenced to life in jail. Uh, an Egyptian court declared uh, Gaza's ruling Hamas faction a terrorist group Saturday on the month after similar rulings against its armed wing, the Izzeddin al-Qassam brigades. Another court sentenced Egypt's uh, top Muslim Brotherhood's leader to life in prison over a violent clash during an attack on the group's Cairo headquarters in June of 2013. The decision by the court of urgent matters declaring the Hamas a terrorist organization follows the de deterioration of the relationship between the Egyptian government and Hamas after the Egyptian army began sealing off remaining tunnels between Gaza and the northern Sinai and the de de uh, demolishing, demolishing structures along the border. Uh, that was reported on uh, Arutz Shiva, Israel National News. And uh, another very serious situation also going on is that Iran is also uh, concluding uh, on there what they call the Prophet 9 on their final day of war games that they tested an unspecified weapon. Iran says it fired a new strategic weapon, was allegedly fired on the final day of the Great Prophet uh, 9 exercises in the Persian Gulf. Iran has ended its large-scale uh, Great Prophet 9 exercises in the Persian Gulf, test firing a new strategic weapon, which it says will play an important role in the future battle against the U.S. This really kind of makes you wonder then how delusional is President Barack Obama and willing to support uh, Iran and willing to sign a deal with them, John Kerry, the whole bunch. I mean, something is really wrong with this group when clearly... They're, they're quoting that they're wanting to destroy the United States. Makes you wonder what the agenda really is. Let me read to you what they actually quoted here. It says, the new weapon will have, this is quote unquote, the new, from Admiral Ali Fadavi. He says, the new weapon will have a very decisive role in adding our naval power in confronting threats, particularly by great Satan, the U.S., Admiral Ali Fadavi, Iran's Navy chief, told the Revolutionary Guard's website. In an interview with Iranian state television, Fadavi added that details about the new weapon may be made public in coming years. Iranian state TV showed a short video of the missiles being fired into the sky from underwater during the daytime, AF, uh, and AFP reported on that. Uh, it, it is certainly uh, very serious and to see that the United States is actually uh, willing to make concessions with them on nuclear talks and, and at the same time, realizing that Russia has signed a, 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 an agreement with them in military uh, agreement as well, quote unquote, to stabilize the region. So you have two major world powers, Russia and the United States, vying for power in the Middle East, and all comes down to Israel. That's one country I stand with 100%. I don't care who comes against it, I will stand for Israel all the way. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you for praying for us. I'm having a little bit of difficulty talking still, but we've been doing super high doses of vitamin C, so we are overcoming this flu. My wife is still very sick, very serious uh, in her condition, but by God's grace, we're overcoming this. Shalom.